Well, it turns out a transgender agenda being pushed by Budweiser is not going all as planned and getting a considerable amount, of, considerable amount of backlash. Because, you know, let's just face it, normal people in America or Canada are kind of getting sick and tired of all just this transgenderism propaganda being shoved in our faces all the time. You know, it's, it's go, it goes from, you know, let us do what we want in the privacy of our own homes to now you must accept it or else the, the uh, Gestapo will come down upon you. At, at the truth of the matter of the whole transgender lobby propaganda agenda. This is on uh, Bare Naked Islam. It says Budweiser uh, cider sale events canceled due to backlash against Bud Light's use of a biological male pretending to be female, bimbo, on its beer cans. Public outrage continues to grow over Bud Light's partnership with the controversial transgender activist Dylan Mullavini. And now representatives from Budweiser have canceled an event featuring Budweiser's iconic uh, Seidel's Dale Horses. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, because normal people are sick and tired of all this insanity being pushed. It says in the article, uh, Sides, Seidel's Dale was, uh, was scheduled to appear at several events in Springfield, Missouri sometime this week to help promote the Budweiser brand. Budweiser has featured Slide uh, Sail. Slide. I, I can't pronounce that. I don't know why. Uh, basically, that some of these horses on its most on most of its Super Bowl ads since 1975, and the beer's association with the giant horse traces all the way back to the early 1930s and the end of probation. Yeah, back when America was much more moral. Uh, on Saturday, Mulvaney posted an Instagram photo of himself drinking Bud Light to celebrate his one-year anniversary of so-called womanhood. The brand even produced a, a Bud Light cans. Uh, feature his image. Uh, whether such cans will ever be placed on the market, shelves is unclear. However, Budweiser's parent company, Andusher Bush, pronouncing that right, has faced significant backlash from sellers and consumers after Dylan Mulavani, a man who identifies as female, has even recently dressed up as a doll and as a six year old girl named Eloise appeared in ads for another one of its beers, Bud Light. Yeah, because the transgenderism lobby has always had the agenda to go after kids. That, that's their main target. Because, see, it's much harder to force some grown man with a, with a pair of, you know, uh, unmentionables, you know, who essentially has, who has a, a bit of testosterone to accept their insanity. So they have to go after the weaker crowds. It says in the article, opposition to Bud Light's partnership with Malivini has been swift and fierce. Uh, country music star Travis Tritt vowed to stop serving an Usher Bush products on his latest tour, and a fellow musician Kid Rock shared a video of himself wearing a MAGA hat and using several and using several cases of Bud Light for target practice. Uh, other artists have pledged to boycott the beer company as well. Even Caitlyn Jenner, a fellow transgender woman, has criticized criticized Mulla, Mullavini. I can't I can't say this pervert's name properly. Uh, the an I don't really care, quite frankly. The animosity towards Bud Light appears to have grown, and it has now, sorry, and has now perhaps even affected Budweiser and its Slidesdale horses, according to the statement from an issuer. And I can't. It, it sounds like it's German. I can't pronounce that. Basically, they, their companies, they're getting a lot of backlash. A Budweiser disputer in Missouri uh, elected to cancel the Springfield events due to safety concerns for the employees. The company does not elaborate on why Will Fisher employees will uh, might be imperiled or whether the events will be scheduled at a later date. What about all the children that have been targeted by this transgender lobby? What about their safety? See, they, they go on about safety, but you know they want to force themselves in the same bathroom as your teenage daughter. What about their safety, huh? But you see, it's only safety when the transgenderism lobby deems it as such. Oh, it's a threat to our safety to not have you know grown men who think they're women go into the bathroom with your, with your teenage daughter. Sure, it's a bunch of garbage, but hey, that's the, the agenda of the transgenderism lobby. So anyway, we wanted to point that out. It's good to see the amount of backlash that normal people are standing up against this stuff. Anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.